Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today's going to be a short video. I wanted to talk about sealing uh, the ends of logs. And what I have here is a, a short uh, piece of white oak. Uh, this was part of a really huge tree that I helped clean up yesterday. That was 38 inches in, in diameter at the base. It fell basically right in front of somebody's house and it took uh, three of us with a lot of chainsaws all day long to clean up that tree. It was a real monster. And what I did was save a few short sections from uh, limbs uh, off of the tree. Uh, believe it or not, this is a limb. I mean, this is a, about a foot across and that, that's a limb. Um, and I saved sections uh, that I thought would make interesting live edge boards for some short wall shelves and, and this is one of them. And overnight, the ends of this log started to check. Um, and that's really the, the beginning of the process of the wood splitting. And the reason that happens is that the ends of the log uh, they're exposed. They have much more surface area than the interior of the log. You know, the grain is all exposed and so the ends are going to start to dry out quicker. Whenever wood gets in a situation where parts of it are wetter, parts of it are drier, uh, the way it's going to try to equalize, to basically equalize its internal stresses, is to split. I mean, we, we all know that. We've seen that happen in action, whether it's logs or lumber. Um, you know, unfortunately, if you're running a sawmill, when the ends of the log start to check, uh, that can significantly reduce your yield of lumber. I mean, you know, I've, I've got about a, a four and a half, five foot section of, of log here. You know, if I let this, this check, I might be down to two or three feet of usable uh, lumber in the middle of that log. And that's, that's no good, especially since I want to make live edge boards. And so checking is a real concern, especially with hardwoods like uh, this, this white oak. And um, one way you can really alleviate this problem or, or completely eliminate it is to seal the ends of your logs and uh, there are commercial products you can get for this uh, anchor seal is a well-known product and that's really a combination of a paint and a wax uh, but it turns out you don't need to spend money to do this what i do is hang on to uh, old cans of paint and you know this can is down to about that much paint it's starting to get dry and thick it's really not suitable for paint uh, use anymore but it is perfect for sealing the ends of the logs it's something i already have it doesn't cost me any money um, and you know, paint's hard to dispose of. You're not supposed to just throw it in the trash. And so uh, this is a good way to use up your old paint and uh, deal with, with checking on your logs. You can also do this to freshly milled boards. Um, boards are gonna be even more susceptible to checking because if you look at the end of the board, that's a whole lot of surface area. And so, you know, if I had milled this real quick and uh, stacked and stickered the boards to dry, I'd also wanna seal the ends to prevent checking. Um, and so whether you're doing it for the logs or the boards, you know, using up old paint to seal things is a great way to uh, minimize this problem and uh, increase your yield of usable lumber. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.